time you have come across this channel make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so the next time you may see the new update in today's lesson we are looking at point 19 paper 2 uh, gce under co construction uh, this is a uh, kind of question which you can get uh, every question correctly so without wasting much of your time let's get started uh, and this question was extracted from one of the past paper, which is OZ on question four. Uh, Roman number one, we are told to construct a triangle JKL in which uh, KL equals eight centimeters and KJ, KJ equals six centimeters and JL, which is equals to centimeters. So we have uh, this measurement here which is the uh, KL, it is equals to uh, eight centimeters. Uh, KJ equals six centimeters. And JL, it is equals to 10 uh, centimeters. So for you to come up with uh, this triangle, which they are saying, you, are, you must follow the alphabet. So the alphabet which comes first, it is uh, this one, which is JK to L. So we are going to start with this uh, length, which we have been given, 6 centimeters. So let's get the ruler now. We are going to measure uh, 6 centimeters. 6 centimeters. We are going to measure 6 centimeters. So let's measure six centimeters. From this ruler, I'll start from one because a zero it is behind here. So I'll end on it because it is six. So I'll end on seven. So that's how I'll get uh, six, my six, six centimeters. So in which uh, it will be, we start from one. Then you draw a line, which is six centimeters uh, JK. So we end at seven because this is a six centimeters, right? We end at the J. So this is a line of uh, six centimeters, which I have projected. So we have J, K, right? Then from this line, we are told uh, K, A, O, it is equals to eight centimeters. And the J, A, O, it is equal uh, 10 centimeters. So let's go back to our question. From this question, they are saying we have uh, we have an angle of 38. Uh, just that I excluded this question. We had an angle of 38 degree. Oh, we don't have an angle. So from from the length which we have, uh, let's uh, get our compass and uh, measure this eight centimeters and bisect. So we are going to get a ruler from zero up to eight. So we are going to start with zero up to, up to eight. So this is my eight here. So in which I'll come at T, at T K, because K, A weight is somewhere here. So I'll come at K, K, it is here. So I'll construct an arc. I hope you're following me, an arc. So, and I'll measure, which is J. So from J, I'll measure 10, 10 centimeters, which is, uh, so from zero up to 10. So I'll measure 10 centimeters, right? 10 centimeters from J. So I'll come at J and strike an arc. So where they are meeting, that's where I'll, uh, I'll project uh, this line, which is uh, going to meet at the, this point here. So the line will be uh, like this one. So now this is where L is. I hope you're following me. This is where L is. So now let's move on to another question. 
we are told to measure uh, to measure and right angle j k uh j a o k j a o k so we are told to measure at this angle here this angle so without uh wasting much of your time let's uh we are going to uh put it in there this way then you measure the angle from this uh in which the angle Make sure that line it is the, this line it is direct from the line you, which you have projected, and this dot it is direct at where you end it. So here I've seen that we have forty, so that means we have uh, thirty-eight. So angle here it is thirty-eight degree. So we have found angle for Roman numeral two. We have found the angle and be within the triangle j k l draw the locus of point which are five centimeters from j we have to draw the locus of point which is five centimeters from j so from this j we have to draw the locus of point so how do we draw uh, the locus of point we are going to measure here which is five centimeters from j so we are going to measure five. Five. This is our five. Again, we are going to uh, construct here bisect uh, this arc. I hope you are following. This is five centimeters from J. You can indicate here. So now this is a five centimeters from J. And we are told that uh, this is Roman numeral uh, two. We are told a uh, locus of point which are three centimeters from JL. Locus of point from JL. So, so, so the locus of point we are going to uh, rotate this one which we are having here. So we are going to measure eight. We're going to measure three because they are saying three centimeters from J L. So this is our three centimeters. So we are going to uh, bisect here at J and at L. Then you draw a line which is tangent to this circle here. draw a lines which are tangent to this circle here which is going to go through this one here right uh, so this line it is uh, three centimeters from jl it is three centimeters and this one here it is three centimeters here so now let's take it back the way it was then uh for number three, Roman number three, we are told it is equidistance from J, K, and J, L. So from here, you have to get uh, the letters which appears the most, which is J. So that's where we are going to stand. So at J, we are going to stand at J. Then it's just you estimate the distance. First, you open a small compass here. Then you strike strike an arc then you open it a little bit then you come here at the end then you strike an arc then you come here at the end you strike an arc so now where they are meeting that's where you are going to draw a line so we are going to draw a line coming from j passing at this point which have been projected. So this is the where uh, this is where uh, this line uh, have been shown. So uh, for C, a point Q within a triangle JKL is such that J.
KL is so that it is greater than or equal to three centimeters from, it is greater than or equal to three centimeters from uh, JL. Three centimeters, these are three centimeters greater than or equal to. Then, uh, greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to three centimeters from J and nearer to JK than to JL. Indicate by shading the region in which Q must lie. So we are told that it is less than or uh, it is greater than or equal to three centimeters from uh, JL. So now for shading, this is a point which uh, they are looking for to shade. So we, we must shade uh, this point here. This is a line passing here and this line here. So this is where to shade. This is where uh, Q lies, just that the diagram is a little bit small. That's why you're seeing that uh, the shading it is small. So now this is where we end. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so the next time you may see the new update. The next lesson we'll be looking at other construction. See you next time. Bye-bye.